welcome to this week's video. Sorry we didn't put one up last week. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> we went to the 17th of May celebration here in Salt Lake when we got back from Costa Rica. I get a new appreciation for Brad whenever I try to take the girls summer on my own because I just feel like I don't have enough arms because like <laughs> we had just gotten back from Costa Rica and both of the girls were so exhausted. I was like, yeah. they're both wanting it's to be held. funny because there's no jet lag. There's no jet lag difference from Costa Rica and, yeah. and here, but they were just like travel exhausted. But overall, it was really fun. It was just harder work than I anticipated. I was telling Brad, we need to make one of those expectation versus reality videos with kids because there's so many times <laughs> that you have this expectation that it's gonna go a certain way and then it's like it's usually never really what you hard. Expect. Yeah. All right, we just got back from Costa Rica and we're running over to the 17th of May celebration over at the International Peace Gardens here in Salt Lake. Um, I'm in my traditional bunad. My um, both of my grandparents. Are originally from Norway so grown up just celebrating all the Norwegian traditions how is it no you don't like the lefse this is the test if you're a true Norwegian Greta <laughs> oh yeah is it yummy Greta did you have fun at the celebration <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Say yeah. yeah. So I've been trying to teach the girls working and like hard work and um, like anyway, chores and yeah. gardening. I brought the girls out with me and uh, Greta had like the gloves on and she's like trying to work in the yard. I think it was two left-handed gloves. <laughs> we found a worm and we were looking at it and playing with it and then we put it back in the dirt and then later Lucy found this like crusted up dead worm from the sidewalk and she brought it up to me and she was like mom it's dead we need to bury it so i'm like okay let's bury it we buried it she goes mom that's heaven in there there's a jesus worm in there <laughs> jesus worm is in there <laughs> i just like started like rolling some of the chores that i've been giving them is just like picking up the house, vacuuming and helping with the dishes. And they've actually done a pretty good job. Like I've always been like, oh, they're too small. It's actually been like a huge learning moment as a parent and as a mother to delegate some of these jobs out to the kids because they're more capable than you think. So Lucy's soccer practice it started you know, she was super excited, loving it. Yeah, like her first game, she was like in the front, she kicking, was the ball, kicking the ball, like, everything. So good. And then it just slowly kind of went down. And I'm sure it'll go back up, but for yeah. now she's like... She wants to be sitting I, with us. Yeah, like, and we actually tell her, we're like, I'm like, Lucy, touch the ball three times. And then, you know, you can elbow people. You don't hit them, but you can elbow them. So she goes like this and she runs around and just like... <laughs> <laughs> the kid doesn't even have the ball, but she just goes, like hits all these kids and it's just hysterical. But um, we had her soccer practice this week and they kind of mix it up. It was so awesome because her coach brought a cooler of water balloons and whenever somebody scored on her team, he like divided it up like boys versus girls. So whenever the girl team scored, all the girls got a water balloon and they were able to throw it at their parents or the coach. And I thought that was so yeah, fun. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was the parents and so she's running at me and she throws it, but it's one, it's like a cherry bomb basically. So she throws it and it just bounces. It right was like off. bouncing off of the sidewalk. <laughs> bouncing <laughs> down the road. Go score another goal. Little 80s girl. But I'm super proud of her for trying soccer. I mean, it may be something. I've, a ton of people direct message me on Instagram like, don't give up on her. We're not giving up. We just want her to try whatever sticks right now. And then we'll come back mm -hmm. to soccer again. Obviously, I love it. Yeah. And so we'll, we'll try it with her again when she wants to. But... Um, I don't know, I was super proud of her. She yeah, did super she good did year. really good this season. She has her last game next week, so we'll right. see how it goes. But probably my highlight from this week was uh, taking the boats out on our neighborhood lake. We took out this rowboat and like Brad rowed me, Lucy, and Greta. Around, like that is a workout. And, and it was like a windy day. It was one of those days where like we promised our kids like, we're going to take the boats out, we're going to go take the boats out. 
And then this huge storm came and we're like, oh crap. Like... Always happens. <laughs> Every time. We're going to go do something and then just like... Some, it's something. either closed or the weather's bad. Yeah. But um, we still went down there. Like it was kind of sprinkling, but it cleared up pretty quick. Yeah, Greta literally was trying to jump in the whole time. They had yeah. life jackets, which was even funnier. <laughs> it's just like... It's just like classic little kid, you know? (laughs) But um, at one point, Greta was just like wanting to get in the water so bad. And so I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I like held her by the handle of the back of her life jacket. (laughs) Which makes it even funnier because then it puts the back flap and then pushes it in. Anyway. And I was just like holding her, like as Brad was rowing, I was like holding her off the back of the boat. So her legs are just like bobbing out (laughs) and she was just laughing. I wish that I would have gotten that on video because at one point we were like going over this patch of like reeds under the water and they were like giving her credit cards between her legs. (laughs) What are we doing today? We're going boating. We're in the ocean. (laughs) I woke up in the world I wanted. Greta's gonna go for a dip. I don't know what this is for, but I think it's for this. <laughs> go, Greta! <laughs> Greta, say, our matey. Our matey! What, the birds? Yeah. I don't know, what should we name the birds? Kevin. <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow! One day my dream is to have a house on the lake and have like a giant swan like paddle boat. This guy's ready to go without me. <laughs> Say see you later, Dad. Are we going without you? Greta! Greta, help me! Oh, my hand. Oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you. We've actually been trying to live a healthier lifestyle and Mm -hmm. that includes eating habits and also exercising. And we look like a couple of idiots exercising. (laughs) I mean, comparing to my sister-in-law, Hayley's sister and my brother. I mean, you can see them and they're just like pros. But um, for us, it's not so much of a physicality type thing or or trying to, you know, gain a 12 pack, which I will. not uh but it's more it's more just mental health so we just really i actually this week um we found out one of my um one of my my parents good friends actually had a stroke and um it just gave huge perspective to us and yeah. and just the importance of health and he's he's younger than my dad actually and and it's a miracle that he is still alive right now um but it it gave great kind of just just <clears throat> A lot of perspective, you know, not yeah. just like, because I think sometimes it's like, well, you know, like working out, like, I don't care to have a six pack. I'm, I'm confident with the way I right. look type right. thing, you know, but like, no, like having a healthy lifestyle is so much deeper than that. And like, if we want to be able to like live long, healthy lives and have that energy for our kids and like be able to meet our great grandchildren someday like we got to take care of our hearts now like right. as dumb as that kind of sounds right now to we're say just but growing like, up aren't we it, <laughs> yeah. we're just yeah it, no. that moment like gave us a lot of motivation and perspective because it wasn't just like oh i want to be swimsuit ready it was right. wow like when we are in our 60s like the things that we're doing now are going to affect how our body is then right and so because i mean and Haley's good at that because i woke up there one day and i was like i'm feeling pretty good and it was after you know three days of exercising and she's like yeah I feel pretty healthy too (laughs) and um and it was a good like reminder of why we're doing this so Mm -hmm. that's something that we didn't include video wise because you don't want to watch us struggle (laughs) (laughs) maybe maybe I'll put it in next week's vlog yeah we'll do like one of those intense like time lapse push-ups where it looks like you're doing a million but it's like struggling five um but the thing is like we just want to maintain a routine for wherever we go so like yeah the stuff that we're doing for workouts right now we're using the bbg app um but not following it like exactly just more so like taking some of the exercises that we like from it um right. and doing it in our living room together and yeah. like turning on the music and i think it's cool to give that example to our children too of like no we're making this a priority a priority in our life to um, take care of ourselves, you know, yeah. and so our was, kids see us yeah. working out together and I'm excited. Like 
to take it on our travels and to be able to just yeah. do that wherever. And just a good routine, stay mm-hmm. healthier. Another thing that is in the works that we're like so stoked on. But we can't say anything about yet. Yeah, we, uh, we flew out to Los Angeles last week to have a collaboration with Julianne Huff and her husband, Brooks Like, and Technically yeah, Julian. Super excited. Like. Yeah, it's technically Julian. <laughs> yeah. Brooks will be happy you said that. Right. But um, yeah, we, we couldn't really film much there because yeah, they they want to keep it like pretty under wraps until we launch it. So follow us along on Instagram. It does to... include our summer divine expeditions and something that you can feel a part of and take pride in and um, and be a part of this huge impact that we're trying to create. So so yeah, keep an eye out on that's Instagram for say. that. Yeah, that's all we can say for <laughs> yeah. now. But keep an eye out on Instagram um, at Haley Divine and at Bradley Divine um, because yeah, we're going to be launching it in these next couple weeks. And, and it involves we're you. Stoked, and it involves you. Thank you so much for watching our video. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, we've filmed this outro like ten times. A but lot. thank you, thank you for watching. We appreciate all of you and for subscribing and for commenting and all the support that you give our family. So thank you so much, Thanks, guys, and stay tuned for next week. Bye. <laughs>